Penweb is an AI-assisted website builder. Now, I've already gone through ChatGPT, so I'll spare you that to find exactly the niche that I wanted to make this website around. There's a link down below if you want to follow along. We're going to create a website, a full website, in less than five minutes right here using AI. The link down below is going to take you to tenweb.io. You can go ahead and create a free account, and it'll prompt you to this page right here where you can either create a website, migrate your website, or optimize your website. Now in order to optimize, you would have either had to create on 10web or migrate to 10web. So we're going to be doing this right here, which is create a website. You can generate a website with AI, select from designer made templates, use any theme and plugin, and edit with 10web editor based on Elementor. And we're going to cover Elementor as well because that thing is freaking awesome. Now, the Migrate Your Website really works with WordPress. This can be either a WordPress plugin or a migration from WordPress. So let's go ahead and click on Create a Website and we'll get started. It's gonna ask you a few things, starting with the site title. Now, when I was looking through ChatGPT or conversating with it looking for a niche, we're gonna go with advertising and marketing and we're gonna, oddly enough, we're gonna title this AGI Advertising. AGI, of course, being Artificial General intelligence what we're all extremely excited and horrified of uh, choose a location and data center I'm just gonna leave this there and the subdomain we're gonna do AGI advertising now admin username we're gonna leave it as this email I created for the use and then it'll ask you for a password as well now let's go ahead and click this and it's going to set up the hosting, it's going to install WordPress, and then finalize. Once this is complete, it's gonna take us to a template page. So we'll be right back. Great, you'll be greeted with this message right here, letting you know that your super fast website is installed on 10web automated WordPress hosting. Go ahead and click the button, and you'll see that our new website is over here on the left side. We can go ahead and click into it, and it'll take, it, take us, rather, to this dashboard. Now, we're gonna see this right here where it says generate with AI. Let's go ahead and click that. Let's go ahead and search for our business type and the dropdown will select advertising, which is what it is. And we'll go ahead and click on next. Now it's gonna have us choose our design and structure. Now I've looked through all three of these. If you're really heavy on testimonials and social proof, this third item is gonna be for you. I personally love this first one though, as it has a very nice feel and, and broad appeal to a number of audiences. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this one, and then on the bottom right, we will click on next. Now it's gonna ask for our company name, and to describe our company. So we'll go ahead and say AGI Advertising is the company name, and we'll say that AGI Advertising uh, utilizes the power of multiple AI tools to increase, uh, let's just say, actually use multiple AI tools to bolster your marketing campaigns and increase um, visibility in your niche. So we'll go ahead and just do something generic like that and then go ahead and click on next. Now it's going to have us select three features or type in three features. Now these are going to be used on the right side if you can see. These are going to be used on the website. So it's going to take these, it's going to generate an image and generate a description based on each of these. So let's just say SEO optimization, um, let's say AI market research, and let's just say extensive ad copy work. Just three things and we're just off the top of our head. Now all three of these are optional, so we can go ahead and just skip these. If you do have a physical uh, physical presence for your, uh, for your business, you can of course put that in there. But for this, we're just gonna go ahead and click on next. Now choosing a tone of voice of content. This is gonna be your headers, your descriptions, your footer, all of the text or language that's being conveyed to your viewer is going to be either informal or formal. I'm gonna go ahead and choose formal just because I think an advertising agency or a social media marketing agency trying to acquire new clients should be more formal than informal. So let's go ahead and click on finalize. Now we're gonna get another menu here and this is actually going to be 
regenerating our entire website. You can see that it does actually go quite fast. It only takes about a minute, minute and a half, but we'll be right back when this is done. Once that's finished, you're gonna be greeted with a little congratulations. Your website was successfully generated with AI, and then we can go ahead and click through this to preview and edit. Now you'll notice one thing. When we clicked preview and edit, it actually opened a new page. This is gonna be similar if you've ever used, say, the Wix website editor. You're gonna have one editing page, and then the previous page is going to be your dashboard. Now real quick, whenever you're editing, now it doesn't matter in this, just a tutorial or a demo, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're editing in a staging environment and not the live environment. Again, this is from your original dashboard, as any changes made on the live environment will publish immediately. And let's face it, while you're working and building and constructing buttons or links or posts, you may not want that to go all at once, or rather you may not want that to go in pieces or steps. You may wanna be able to publish that all at once. So whenever you're editing, make sure you're in the staging environment. Now, if you've ever used uh, WordPress, you'll notice on the bottom left, we have plugins, WordPress themes. We have this little menu down here. This is gonna be very similar to your WordPress dashboard. If you haven't used WordPress, that's okay. Just know that right here you have plugins or applications that can do a wide variety of things on your website such as adding blogs forums community member pages just a whole ton of things even if you want a live news scroll like we have on myaikit.org that's where you get that is in plugins and themes if you remember when we first created the website we chose from one two or three themes this is just going to give you a bunch of additional options you'll also see on the main page here you have all of your pages these are going to be something we'll look at in just a second on the actual website but these these are all of the different pages on your website. On the top right, you can add a page easily or you can edit any of the pages you already have on the right side. So let's go ahead and go to the window that was opened. This is our generated website. Let's go ahead and move this navigator over to the left for a second and get a general look. You can see the ad copy or the landing page has already been generated for us. All of these featured in logos are already here. We have reviews or testimonials that have already been loaded and a very nicely well-designed website in my opinion in just a couple of minutes. Now of course everything in here is editable and we're gonna go through how to exactly do that or the two ways you can do that in just a moment. We also have already generated a subscribe to newsletter where people can go in and we can capture or lead gen uh, email addresses from our potential customers or clients, depending on what you're doing. You'll also notice that it generated images for us or generated images for us rather, all based on what exactly is going on. Say the first one, SEO optimization, which we plugged in to our one, two, and three services offered. You can see these here, SEO optimization, ad copywriting, and market analysis. All of the images that were generated for that have something to do with that concept. So in this case, SEO optimization, we have our description here, which was AI generated. Our SEO optimization service helps increase your website's visibility on search engines, driving more traffic and leads to your business. Of course, we can edit or regenerate this section uh, at our will, but the image that was generated also has the SEO, so everything flows very nicely. All right, so let's say you want to go ahead and edit something. Let's say we, um, actually, let's go right back down here to yeah we'll go ahead and do this let's say we just want to add the word your we can of course just click into it and add the word there but if we want we can also use what's called containers so now being dragged onto the screen you will notice all of these different drop downs every section is in a container so you can see this lime green background here everything in here is inside of this first container You'll notice there's an eyeball on each one. So if we wanna go down to the container and hide, we can of course do that. So let's say we wanna hide these logos. Well, that would be in this second container. And you can see that it highlights the section each time. So if we wanna go ahead and hide that container, we can easily do that. If we wanna hide that one, we can do that as well. 
and that's just an easy uh, navigator menu thing here. Now let's say we want to edit directly from the container. Let's say we want to take one slogan and put it in multiple containers. We can just select the container drop down, container, container. We can see the heading, it's highlighted this here, and we can go ahead and go to text editor for this right here, and we can edit it from the left side as well. Let's go ahead and say that we want to heavily edit text. So we can make this either oriented differently or turn it into a numbers list, but let's say we wanted to add a link. Let's just say cutting edge AI tools, we want that to link to a specific page that when clicked, it'll take us to a list of our features, products, tools, or even pricing. Okay, so we're gonna go back over to our left side menu, which we opened through the container navigator, and we're gonna go over to text. You'll notice that we have a bunch of different options here, one being link. Now let's go ahead and highlight where it says cutting edge AI tools and click on link. Once we do that, it's going to open this right here. We can of course select one of our pages. In this case for our AI tools, we want to select services, but we can also add a custom URL and link text on the top or link it to existing content. Let's say we have a blog and we want to link a word on our main page directly to a blog post. We would just search that post inside of this search window and then select and then on the right click add link. That will now have a link on it. With this though, we can also manipulate all of the elements on our website. We're gonna go ahead and continue to use this as an example because whether you're editing this element, this element, really any element on your page, this is going to be the same navigation window that you see. On the top, let's go ahead and go to style. This is extremely straightforward. You can change things like the text color or the alignment, typography or text shadow of the text or even image on your screen. It'll vary based on the element that you've selected to edit. On the top, let's go ahead and go to advanced. And this is where we really get into some interesting tools. Layout is really going to be up to your certain uh, specific needs, but most of this is self-explanatory. A lot of the different things like scrolling effects can really change how people view your website, but also know that the more effects you add to your website, the longer loading time or the slower loading speed your website's gonna have. So always be checking back on your dashboard and check the page speed score on the top left. With no effects and really no heavy bogging down elements on our page to start with, we get a 0.3 second load time, which is very good. In comparison, my, myaikit.org is a 5 second load time, but there is a lot going on on there. So as long as you keep it under that 5 second mark, you should be good. That's just something to be mindful of. We also have things like motion effects, where we can add scrolling effects or mouse effects, as and if you want someone on the live site to hover over a word and have it bounce or fade, you can do that as well. You can also load in entrance animations as well. You can do things like transforming your text with offsets or skews or even flipping your text around. That might be kind of confusing though to your viewers. You can add things like backgrounds, borders, and masking. Those all seem to be very straightforward. And if you're someone that can write your own CSS, wants to go very specific into your needs for design on the website, of course they have the custom CSS where you can insert your own code to change the look and feel of your website. Let's go ahead and get back to the dashboard as we've now already covered how to edit all of the elements inside of your website. We're currently on the dashboard and we're in the overview section. Now the AI builder is where we just were. That is everything we just covered. We're gonna skip over website booster as this is really once you have an established website, this is where you can actually go in and buckle down and optimize everything. Hosting services is really just, hey, where is it being hosted? This would be something like GoDaddy, and you can also do your DNS settings in here once you purchase or acquire 
acquire a website, a web domain, you can point this website to that domain. That way it's not coming up as agiadvertising.tenweb.site. This is where you would actually acquire, say, the AGI advertising name and point it towards it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at plugins because this is very exciting. You can do a lot. When you first click on plugins, you're gonna have five generic ones already in here. And this is going to be where you can find any of the plugins you choose to install. On the top, you can also see things such as history, available updates for your plugins, and plugins that you've made inactive. Let's go ahead and go on the top right and click on add new plugins. There's some options up here. You have the 10 web exclusive. <coughs> In here, you also have things like your AI assistant, your web booster, which should be automatically installed, photo gallery, and form maker. Now, form maker allows you to make, say, member sign up forms or go more in depth on subscribing to a newsletter. But what's really cool is the WordPress repository. Any of the plugins that are available on WordPress are most likely going to be available on here as well. This includes things like WooCommerce for e-commerce needs, the actual website builder, which should already be installed, SEO tools like Yoast, and then of course, the classic editor if you really love the classic WordPress editing field. Now we also have things such as contact forms. This is one that I actually use on WordPress sites uh, for just that. It's a contact form plugin that is drag and drop. So don't forget to utilize all of the plugins. And then of course we have the WordPress themes where you can add WordPress themes from the top right just upload the zip file right there. If you have any questions about 10web.io, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I'll try and stay active and answer all of them. If you want, you can check out one of the two tutorials that are on your screen right now.